in the multifaceted and often complex world of Magic the Gathering, there exists a strategy that is largely found upon, even perhaps even loved by a significant portion of the player base. A strategy that on the surface seems like just another tactic in the grand scheme of the game, yet it harbors a deep frustration and bitterness for many. Today, we venture into dark realms of land destruction. Hey guys, it's your boy the hero and welcome to another episode of My Deck is Bigger Than Yours. And we're going to talk about why is land destruction frowned upon. Don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe, and share. Remember, it's one of the best ways to support the channel for free. Let's keep going. Let's talk. This video is powered by Dubby. Dubby Energy is the maker of a clean gamer energy drink to help enhance focus, concentration, and reaction time with no jitters, crash, or bad ingredients. Head over to w.gg and use the code THEHEROES to get that 10% discount. So, land destruction is the act of targeting and limiting your opponent's land cards, thereby choking their resources and crippling their ability to play spells, a strategy as old as magic itself. At its core, land destruction seeks to disrupt the opponent's mana base, which is fundamental to playing the game effectively. It's a strategy that plays on the foundation rules of magic, the need for mana to cast spells. But there's quite a few backlash against land destruction, right? So why is this strategy so disliked? Why is the act of destroying land seen as an affront of the unwritten rules of casual gameplay? 1. We got resource chokehold. Land destruction can lead to a game where one player is particularly unable to play, turning the game into a one-sided affair, which many see as a counter to the spirit of the game. 2. Extended game duration. This strategy can significantly prolong the duration of the game, often leading to a drawn out, tedious match with little interaction or assignment. Number 3. Stifling Creativity By just focusing only on just destroying lands, it can stifle the creative aspects of the game, making it more denial than about building and executing a unique strategy or synergy. So, the use of land destruction presents a moral dilemma of sorts, right? So on one hand, it's a legitimate strategy within the rules of the game. On the other, it can create a negative experience for the opponent, often leading to resentment and frustration. Even designers and veterans of the game have acknowledged that the decisive nature of land destruction. It's a strategy that tests the boundaries of sportsmanship, right? So it often putting players at odds with the unspoken social contract of the game, right? As, what, as with all strategies of Magic the Gathering, the use of land destruction comes down to finding a balance. A balance between utilizing a valid strategy to win and maintain the spirit, fun, and excitement that the game is built upon. Perhaps with time, community can find a middle ground where land destruction can exist without the stigma integrated into the beautiful complexity that makes Magic the Gathering the game of endless possibilities and strategies. So what are you guys' thoughts of land destruction? Is a legit, legitimate strategy on a bearer bone of casual play or maybe competitive play? Let's have a conversation in the comments below. And if you join this video, don't forget to like, subscribe for more deep dives on the world of Magic the Gathering. Once again, this is your host, the hero, signing out.